The problem with relying on importation actually, and I have always explained this, is the fact that when we rely on foreign sources of our commodities, be it food and others, we actually take away from the local producers the opportunity of making money. Like say for example, and I have always argued this, hindi ganun kasimple ang mag-import ng baboy para sabihin natin mas mura ang baboy na ibibenta natin sa merkato. It actually goes beyond just the price. Kasi the moment we rely on importation, say for example, specific example, baboy, sabihin natin nakatawad tayo, nakamura tayo ng 20 pesos, 30 pesos per kilo ng baboy na imported over the local local uh, locally produced pork well and good but did you know that ang involved sa hog industry sa Pilipinas actually or rice industry for that matter or other agricultural commodities hindi lang yung producer because in the case of the hog industry for example for you to be able for a farmer to be able to raise hogs the corn farmer must plant corn so, sinong involved dyan? Yung tractor operator, yung laborer, yung farmer, yung truck driver na maghakot ng mais, yung feed mill, yung empleyado ng feed mill, yung truck driver na mag-deliver ng feeds, yung uh, uh, empleyado ng tindahan na nagbebenta ng feeds, yung matadero na pwedeng magdala ng uh, extra na mga tinadtad na baboy pa uwi para maging ulam nila. Uh, it's, it's a whole production line actually. That's why I have always believed that we should look at the potentials of this country in producing agricultural commodities which would grow well in our country because by doing such, not only will we be saving our precious dollar reserves, we will also be creating income and job opportunities for our people. And this is what we need, actually. The pandemic has shown us that we cannot rely on foreign sources of goods, food, and other commodities. Because in a pandemic, the uh, supply chain could be disrupted.